A new vessel approximately 65 meters long, featuring a triangular hull, minimal superstructure, and a potential 48-cell vertical launch system on its forward deck, how might it reshape the oceans we know? When the U.S. Navy News website captured satellite imagery of this futuristic-looking mystery ship, discussions about China's unmanned weapons platform once again reached a fever pitch. Visually, the vessel sports a deep gray paint scheme, its slender triangular hull design, and minimalist superstructure not only lended a futuristic technological aesthetic but also embodied the modern naval pursuit of stealth, reducing its radar cross-section to achieve near invisibility to enemy detection systems. More notably, the deck forward of this suspected unmanned weapons carrier features a large vertical launch system. U.S. media and military experts speculate it could accommodate up to 48 missile launchers. Such firepower density rivals that of China's active duty Type 052C destroyers meaning this unmanned vessel could rapidly establish localized fire superiority in a theater of operations, effectively becoming a mobile missile arsenal at sea. The concept of an unmanned weapons carrier actually originated from U.S. military proposals in the 1970s, which were abandoned due to technological and cost constraints at the time. Now, it may be materializing in Chinese shipyards. Its core philosophy is quantity over quality, packing formidable firepower, into a smaller displacement vessel to achieve highly effective strikes against adversaries. In the modern naval warfare paradigm emphasizing distributed lethality, unmanned arsenal ships function as floating missile depots, executing high-risk missions in rear or peripheral zones. This approach not only significantly reduces personnel casualties, but also delivers decisive fire support at critical junctures. The emergence of this new vessel type reflects not merely a focus on firepower projection, but also a transformation in command and control methodologies within the information warfare environment. The deployment of unmanned systems enhances operational flexibility, shifting the focus of naval vessels beyond mere battlefield survivability to maximizing utility before facing precision strikes. A closer examination of this new vessel reveals design philosophies akin to the known Orca, high-speed stealth trimaran unmanned combat craft. The Orca, already deployed with a missile patrol boat brigade in the Eastern Theater Command, has a displacement of approximately 500 tons. It integrates air defense, anti-ship, and anti-submarine capabilities, with a maximum range of 7,400 kilometers. It is the world's first unmanned vessel, equipped with an active phased array radar and a vertical missile launch system. The vessel's faceted hull design and stealth coatings are engineered to minimize radar cross-section and enhance concealment. Its stern employs water jet propulsion for agile maneuvering and acceleration, while the trimaran configuration achieves high speeds, with superior seakeeping provided by the two side holes. These characteristics appear to be reflected and further developed in the newly revealed semi-submersible vessel. In terms of operational modes, the Orca UGV has demonstrated potential for multi-vessel coordinated operations. Multiple Orcas can leverage their compact size and high speed to execute, pod, tactics, jointly targeting naval formations to neutralize their combat capabilities. They can also coordinate with Type 022 missile patrol boats, where the latter leverage their high speed and stealth to rapidly approach enemy targets while the Orca provides intelligence support and firepower, jointly executing multiple waves of saturation attacks against targets within a short time frame. This manned-unmanned collaborative combat model is likely to be applied to the new unmanned weapons platform as well. However, some military observers express reservations about this new vessel. They argue that China's Navy already possesses formidable surface fleets and aircraft carrier strike groups, rendering redundant the development of single-function arsenal ships. As some experts point out, the trend in modern naval development is to upgrade existing main combat vessels, rather than rely on entirely new weapon platforms. Take China's Type 055 destroyer as an example. Its 112-cell vertical launch system is already capable of accommodating multiple missile types, offering firepower density and diversity that rivals any dedicated weapons carrier. Moreover, with the transformation of China's maritime strategy, the Navy's mission has shifted from nearshore defense to distant sea rights protection, particularly amid intensifying strategic competition in the Asia-Pacific region. Naval assets must possess the capability to independently execute diverse missions. Against this backdrop, Single-purpose weapons platforms are clearly ill-suited to evolving operational environments and risk becoming vulnerabilities within the combat system. At the same time, we must not overlook the risks that arsenal ships may face. Once such a platform concentrating firepower is detected by the enemy, its lack of robust defensive capabilities leaves it virtually defenseless against anti-ship missile attacks. While a single-function design, 
may appear advantageous in certain scenarios, in actual combat it risks becoming a priority target for the enemy, which would undoubtedly compromise the operational capability of the entire battle formation. This concern is echoed in the U.S. Navy's reservations about unmanned vessels, which it deems currently incapable of executing complex missions in challenging environments. While Ukraine's unmanned boats inflicted significant damage on Russia's Black Sea Fleet, this specialized operational model is difficult to replicate in modern naval warfare, characterized by dense sensor networks and complex electromagnetic environments. From a broader perspective, the emergence of unmanned weapons platforms signifies China's growing maturity in unmanned technology, encompassing not only shipbuilding capabilities, but also evolving tactical concepts. While the U.S. Navy has long pursued unmanned systems, it now faces significant challenges. Rear Admiral William Daly, Director of Surface Warfare Programs, recently stated that the Navy must simplify unmanned surface vessel designs to enable mass production and rapid deployment. He bluntly remarked, large unmanned surface vessels have gone down a path of excessive sophistication, cost, and unacceptability. I doubt their viability for fleet integration. Under Daly's new vision, the U.S. Navy will blur distinctions between large and medium-sized unmanned surface vessels, developing versatile platforms capable of both intelligence gathering and combat missions. This approach appears to diverge from China's developmental trajectory. The development of unmanned and stealthy underwater combat platforms has become a key focus for major global military powers. Data indicates that over 1,000 unmanned underwater vehicles for various purposes are currently in operation worldwide. The U.S. Navy has designated unmanned vessels digital networks, and long-range firepower as high-priority development areas. It is advancing projects including medium-sized unmanned surface vessels, the Barracuda Autonomous Underwater Mine Clearing System, the Razorback Medium-Sized Unmanned Submersible, the Snakehead Large Unmanned Submersible, and the Orca Super Large Unmanned Submersible. These unmanned platforms continuously reduce noise, electromagnetic, and infrared emissions through technical measures such as employing large-diameter low-speed propellers applying acoustic absorption coatings and anti-radar coatings, and increasing diving depths, significantly enhancing their stealth capabilities. Underwater warfare tactics are also evolving toward diversified and swarm-based approaches. Supported by underwater information networks, combat methods widely used in surface and air domains, such as swarm operations, distributed warfare, and manned-unmanned -manned collaboration, are now being adapted for the subsea battlefield. Manned submarines can execute coordinated operations at scale and within integrated systems, shifting from historically isolated tactics. They can also function as underwater command and control hubs and information centers, directing multiple unmanned systems to perform intelligence reconnaissance, mine countermeasures, anti-submarine warfare, and anti-ship missions. Networks of dozens of unmanned underwater vehicles can form mobile anti-submarine detection systems, covering hundreds of thousands of square kilometers, substantially enhancing situational awareness in underwater theaters. Overall, while the potential of unmanned weapons platform ships is undeniable, whether they can truly meet the operational demands anticipated by China's naval leadership remains to be seen. Future naval warfare will not rely solely on individual weapon systems, but will require diversified, flexible operational models. In this era of rapidly advancing military technology, the critical challenge for every naval force lies in optimizing existing equipment and fostering innovation to build more efficient combat systems.